In this video, I'll show you how to create animations like Isaac Verse. If you're curious and want to take your skills to the next level, stick around. Let's dive right in. First, we open the Fusion page. Then we go to the Edit tab and create a new Fusion composition. I'll set the duration to 10 seconds and the frame rate to 30. Once that's done, we save it. Next, drag the Fusion composition into the timeline. As you can see, it's currently an empty video file. To start editing, right-click on it and select Open in Fusion. To navigate through the workspace, simply press the middle mouse button and drag to move around. This is especially useful when working on detailed projects, as it allows you to adjust your view and stay organized. Now let's start by adding a background. Click on the background tool and place it in your workspace. Once it's there, scale it up as much as you can to cover the entire canvas. This ensures a clean and complete foundation for the project. As you can see, the canvas is now ready for further adjustments. Next, press Shift plus Space to bring up the tool menu. From here, search for Grid and add it to the workspace. The grid will act as a reference or design element depending on how you want to use it. Follow along closely to see how I configure it. Once the grid is in place, let's add a Merge node. This helps combine different elements into a single output. After that, we'll add another background node this second background will be used to create a frame. To do this, add a rectangle node and connect it to the background. Adjust the rectangle settings by turning off the invert and solid options. This creates a proper frame shape. You can customize its size and position as needed. For a more dynamic look, I'm using a gradient to add color. To set this up, go to the gradient options and drag the red dots to select your preferred colors. In this case, I'm going with shades of blue and navy for a sleek, modern appearance. Once the colors are set, we'll add a soft glow effect. This makes the frame stand out and gives it a polished, professional look. Now let's create a transparent background layer. Add another background node and reduce its alpha value. Select all the nodes we've created so far and connect them to a merge node. Make sure the gray square from the background is connected to the green input of the merge. This step ensures everything is properly layered. To create a template, copy and paste the existing nodes. Arrange them neatly in the workspace to maintain a clean and organized setup. If the elements appear too large, add a transform node to resize them. Repeat this process for all the copies to ensure consistency. This method is similar to how Isaac Verse designs their animations, providing a seamless and professional workflow. Next, we'll animate the template. Select the Merge node and adjust the blend settings. Set the blend to its lowest value and add a keyframe. Move forward five frames and set the blend to one. This creates a smooth transition for the animation. Now it's time to add text. Insert a text node and connect it to a merge. Type your desired text and choose a font from the available options. I'm using a clean and modern font for this example. To enhance the text, go to the shading section and add an outline. This makes the text more visually appealing. To add more depth, apply a soft glow and a normal glow effect to the text. Connect these effects to the green input of the merge. If the text appears too large, add a transform node and resize it. Copy and paste the text elements to create duplicates and arrange them in the workspace as needed. To give the text a mysterious effect, apply a mosaic blur to each one. This adds a subtle but impactful touch to the animation. For text reveal animations, adjust the blend settings for each text element. Unfortunately, there's no shortcut for this step, so you'll need to repeat it manually for all the elements. This process is time-consuming, but essential for achieving a smooth and polished result. Now let's finalize the video size. If it appears too large, add another merge node and connect it to the background. This time, connect the background to the yellow input and the merge to the green input. This adjustment ensures the video dimensions are correct. To add a camera effect, insert a transform node and adjust the size and position to your liking. Set keyframes to animate the camera movement. 
move forward five frames and tweak the settings again to create smooth transitions. If the keyframes look stiff, open the spline editor, select all the keyframes and press S to smooth them out. This makes the animation flow more naturally. Rewatch the animation to ensure everything looks good. For added polish, remove the blur from the text during zoom ins, remembering to set keyframes for these changes. This step might feel tedious, but it's crucial for a professional look. When working with a 30 FPS fusion composition, use the five frame forward technique for smoother animations. Once everything is in place, connect the transform to the media out. Go to the edit page and your video is ready to render. With practice and creativity, you can achieve even better results. Don't forget to like this video and enjoy a burrito while you're at it.